Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to Broke Boys Fashion. I'm Caleb and today I'm showing you guys how to enhance your closet without buying any new clothes. Yes, you guys heard me right. By the time you finish watching this video, you're gonna be able to enhance your closet without spending a single cent on a piece of clothing. My goal and the whole purpose of this channel is to help you guys achieve your fashion style on a low budget. And one of the best ways to save money and to work with a low budget is to not go out and buy new clothes, but rather improve and enhance what you already have in your closet. And that's the whole point of this video is to help you guys work with what you have in your closet and to help you get the most out of it. So I've come up with five tips to help you guys just do that. And by the way, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I do have a little bonus tip for you guys near the end. And with that said, that leads me to my first tip and that is to get rid of everything and anything that you do not like and do not wear. Now I know what you guys are probably gonna say, Caleb, I thought the whole point of the video was to save us money and to enhance what we already have in our closets, not to end up with less clothes and more of a need to spend money and buy more clothes. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is to get rid of stuff you do not like or wear. So it's literally sitting in your closet doing absolutely nothing. So if you get rid of it, you won't have to replace it or anything. You get what I'm saying? Getting rid of clothes is just as important as any any other step when it comes to enhancing your closet because not only does it allow you to organize your closet but as well allows you to see what you can work with and what you cannot work with now i don't recommend you guys throwing your stuff in the trash or rather donate it or sell it to make a little extra cash on the side that could help you buy some new clothes so my second tip for you guys is to style your clothes in different ways and what i mean by this is to do something to your individual pieces of clothing that can make them look a little different or to give them a different vibe. And some examples of this is for like a basic t-shirt, you can try rolling up the sleeves or even tucking it in. And for some pants, you can try rolling up the bottom or even pin rolling it. There are endless possibilities out there. Just don't be afraid to try and experiment. And little things like these can make that specific piece of clothing have a completely different vibe and just freshen it up. Onto my third tip, and that is to mix and match different pieces of clothing. All this means is to put tops with different bottoms, put bottoms with different tops, and if you got pieces of clothing that you usually never wear together, try pairing them up. And this only doesn't apply to tops and bottoms, but as well you can try wearing different tops with different jackets, you can wear different shoes with different pants, or different shirts with different shoes. You can mix and match and experiment with pretty much anything. And yeah, not all the combinations are gonna work out, but a lot of times you'll find yourself going, oh wow, this top and this bottom actually look really good together, and then boom! you got yourself a new outfit. And like I said in my previous tip, don't be afraid to experiment. You have nothing to lose. The worst thing that can happen is you don't like a combination, but guess what? You never have to wear that combination ever again. That simple. This is a great way to increase your outfit pool without spending a cent on any new clothes. My fourth tip for you guys is to customize your clothes. Now, customizing your clothes is different than styling your clothes. Customizing your clothes is adding your own unique elements to it. And customizing your clothes is rarely, if ever, expensive. And a lot of the times you already have everything you need at home. For example, if you wanna make some distressed jeans, all you need are some scissors and some tweezers. And if you wanna add like some custom patches on your shirts or on your denim jacket, you can go to Amazon for like five bucks and get one. Not only is customizing your own clothes great because you're making an older piece of cooler or you're giving it a new vibe or you're freshening it up, but the best part about customizing your own clothes is, is that since you're adding your own personal touch to it, it makes your clothes unique and stand out. So you can customize a shirt, put your own patches on it, even paint some symbols on it, whatever. The point is that nobody else in the world is gonna have that same shirt as you do. And to me, having pieces of clothing that are unique and personal to me is one of the dopest things ever. Just a quick side note, I do plan to have clothes customization and do-it-yourself type videos on the channel, so be looking out for those in the near future. Anyways, my fifth tip for you guys is to go to the tailor. Going to the tailor is a pretty straightforward one. If you guys have stuff in your closet that you don't like how it fits, for example, maybe last year you were into baggy pants, but this year you're into skinny pants, instead of going out and buying a whole new pair of pants for like 60 bucks, just get them tailored, and that is so much cheaper. Not only are you saving money with tailors, but as well, that specific item that's being tailored is gonna be meant for you and your body type. When you go to a store, that's not the case. They're meant for everybody. So you cannot beat the fit of a tailored item. So if you guys can find a good tailor and utilize them well, they can save you a ton of money and as well make your clothes look perfect on you. Now I did say I had a bonus tip for the people who stuck around to the end. And now a bonus tip for you guys who did stick around is if you have a little extra cash, is to buy and invest in accessories. And when I'm talking about accessories, I'm talking about your rings, your watches, your bracelets, and your necklaces. If done right, accessories can improve and enhance 
any outfit you have. The reason accessories can enhance your whole closet is because you can wear them with any kind of outfit. So any kind of outfit you can think of that you can make from the clothes you already have in your closet right now, if you add accessories to that, it's going to improve it and enhance it. So when I say that accessories can literally enhance your whole closet, I mean it. Well, those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. I really hope they helped out. If they did, please drop a like. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And if you want to see more content on low budget fashion, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.